G.I. Robot is a killing machine. I was created to kill Nazis. Let's talk Creature Commandos Episode 3. Cheers to the Tin Man. Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. My name is James. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, looking forward to the DCU, enjoying Creature Commandos and all the fun stuff, hit that subscribe button. We talk about it all the time on the channel. Creature Commandos Episode 3 was titled Cheers to the Tin Man and for good reason. Now, if you haven't seen Creature Commandos Episode 3 or the first two episodes, I would suggest pausing this video, going to watch those, coming back here after that, because we are going to talk about a little bit of spoilers, nothing too crazy. I mean, I guess there is a couple major spoilers, at least one giant spoiler in this episode uh, that you might not want to know if you're not caught up with the series and you want and you are very invested in or looking forward to watching it or you're binging it or whatever. I would just say pause right now and come back later because, like I said, some spoilers up ahead. Look, I enjoyed the episode. I thought it was fine. It was pacing wise. I was a little bit OK, fine, because we're going from past to present. This, of course, is all about G.I. Robot, hence the title. Cheers to the Tin Man. Last week, episode two, I shouldn't say last week, there was two episodes, but episode two was very heavily on The Bride, and that was like a universal monster movie we got to witness last week on that episode. And this episode was a World uh, War episode. It was like, it was all about G.I. Robot, kind of how he came to be and where he got and where he was going and how he got to where he got. And it was a very intriguing story again. I just thought the pacing was a little bit off at times. You know, because the past and the present, sometimes they'd be very invested in what they're going on with the present, and then they would cut to the past. And the transitions were all great, what they did. It's just sometimes they would cut the GI. I'm like, oh, we're going to go back. I want to finish this story here. And of course you do. The beauty of it is that you always do go back and you do get to finish it. But I just felt like sometimes, I guess, look, the runtime is what it is and it's fine. They do the whole thing in, in that 22 minutes or whatever. But it always felt like I just wish there was a little bit more tagged on before we went to the past and vice versa. So like once I got invested in something, I'd be pulled back into present day or into the past. And I was just like, ah, stick with one, stick with one was kind of my mentality. Now, you might have a totally different one. And I want to know what your thoughts are on this episode and the show as a, as a whole in the comments down below. Are you enjoying Creature Commanders? Looking forward to more. Does it give you any kind of expectations into the future of the DCU? Because for me, not so much. Like very general, I guess, uh, ideas. I like the way that they're utilizing characters. Sergeant Rock got a big mention and is in this episode has a minor role in it, obviously. And we're going to get that movie starring Daniel Craig at some point. They're going to put it go into production, I believe, next year. And then when it was announced, it's like, why are they why are they doing a Sergeant Rock that's so random? And you're like, oh, they're planting the seeds. And even though this is, I believe, still like a soft launch into the DCU, the seeds are all planted for what's to come. And Sergeant Rock, you have a good story. I think this was a good counterpoint. Like what we saw here with GI Robot during the past in the war i think you can make a really solid war movie and sergeant rock is one that you can get in there and introduce it and such like a low-key comic book character that's not mainstream is one that i think is perfect for the dcu to take advantage of and use in this situation because that's kind of who you want in a world war one right because you know you know does a current character live die what happens with the character you can be stay in the past you don't have to worry and i think doing these individual stories is what makes the dcu uh separate from the mcu obviously but also is what it's going to be its main strength is i think we have sergeant rock and of course clayface is coming up soon as well and can't wait to dive more into that character so the episode is all about finding the bride rescuing the bride and how the how the creature commandos get together to do that. Uh, it's not much though. That part is pretty thin. But GI Robot, this is all about, like I said, his past, present, how they're using him to kind of research in the AI used on him. Because I mean, don't forget this takes place so many years ago. They're using that AI to the future and how that's gonna propel now. And then we see that he is basically just bred to kill Nazis, uh, and not for showboating, not to be introduced in in real life and uh, we find out why he gets put into bell reef he kills 37 it was 36 innocent people like say innocent people as he goes to a rally and there's a nazi sign he just kills he wipes everybody out this was probably the most violent of all the episodes so far of creature commandos and uh it was pretty good i enjoyed it i will say the music was this one the music didn't stand out to me at all i actually afterwards i was like was there even were there songs in this one? That doesn't bother me. I don't need that. That Sometimes I feel like the music can be used as a... Cr not the music. Uh, the soundtrack. Like the pop songs. I'll call them pop songs. They can be used as like a crutch sometimes. And this one didn't feel like overpowering to me. That's a concern I have going into Superman. Like how much are we going to get of that in Superman? I don't need too much 
of it there because Superman is Superman. Same with, you know, Star Wars. When I watch Star Wars, I don't want pop songs in a Skeletor Crew trailer. I want my Star Wars theme music. So the music didn't stick out for me in this one. I guess that was a low point, I suppose. But but look, like I said, the pacing was a little bit off, but it was all about G.I. Robot. And my thought was, okay, we're going to get each week, we're going to get a uh, focus on a new character. It looks like, spoilers, next week is going to be on, on Weasel. That's what it looks like based on the trailer. I haven't watched the trailer yet. I just kind of saw that they, they released it i'll take a look at that later but it looks like weasel is going to be the main focus next week which makes sense from the way this ends the way he deals with cersei at the end uh so i'm excited to see that but but i thought we we're going to get individual characters that at the end they're all going to kind of come together for the big climactic moment together as like we are the creature commandos blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so it's not that stupid but that's what i thought but then yo gi cheers to the tin man just dies just gets like blown up his head's there shut down for good you know, I, I really was, I really liked the character. He was so sincere, but he just wanted to kill Nazis. The joke was getting a little bit tiring. The whole killing Nazi joke was getting a little bit tiring, especially this episode as it kept going and going. I was like, okay, and I guess it's never going to happen again. So maybe I'm going to miss that. You don't know what you got till it's gone. Am I going to miss it? I might, but I was a little bit worn out by it as the time was going. And then they blew him up. I was like, okay, I get it now. I thought that worked towards what they were doing. I appreciated that aspect of it now, knowing what they were doing, what knowing what they were going through, knowing that GI robot is gone. They'll probably, you know, maybe the flashback or so we might see him, but I guess he's not in the show anymore. He's just dead. But that leads us to the very finale when they when Weasel and Dr. Phosphorus attacks Cersei and like really devastates her. And she says, You guys don't know what you've done. Now the whole world is in danger. And that was something I loved about this series. It reminded me so much of Suicide Squad and of Peacemaker, where, you know, you have these characters, you know, the ragtag team assembled to do something very low key. And then it turns out that it's world threatening, right? It's universe galaxy dominating threat at stake here, whether it's Starro or the big butterfly thing from Peacemaker, which I love, but I don't know what it was. So, but if there's something bigger at play here. You think it's like a small, isolated story, and it's something larger at play, and James Gunn does that very well. I wonder if they're going to do that with Superman. I have some suspicions that there will be something in that respect. But for, for this, I thought it worked again, because you're taking a ragtag group of, of anti-heroes, putting them together, like, okay, but what are they actually going to deal with? And then when you get to see what they deal with, you're like, oh, okay, so they thought it was a small issue. Everyone thought it was a smaller issue, but it's actually something larger at play here. Did Wall know does what does waller know about this this should know anything at all really curious about that but again i thought it was a fine episode some of the humor hit some of it didn't pacing issues you know the pacing of the show just wasn't my favorite um didn't really ruin it for me excited to see where it's going to go next week can't wait to see that trailer like weasel i thought weasel was great that the animation on him at the end when he was ripping cersei fire was fantastic really loved it probably the glorious episode like i said that we've had so far of this show uh but i'm enjoying it it's tomorrow on adult swim in canada because care that we don't get shit. let me know you guys thought of it in the comments down below thanks for watching everybody give us a like and subscribe until next time maybe the master of your own universe